up everyone it's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys and as you can tell by the title I'm basically giving you guys my review slash vlog of part two or season two of Carol Tuesday which is out on Netflix now it actually came out on Christmas Eve and this is basically the review portion of that I will put a timestamp in the description box of when the vlog portion is out if that's the only part that you want to watch but for the review portion i'm basically going to talk about my thoughts on the entire series as a whole well at least just season two and just let you guys know overall what i think about it so basically season two kind of leaves, leaves off where season one basically left off which was which was with carol on tuesday basically winning the like mars star search kind of competition well kind of winning carol on tuesday and also angela which was their opponent both pretty much won the competition and season two basically has where basically you're kind of following their careers in the music industry but they both take two very different paths so you have angela who of course ends up signing with a big name music um music industry not music industry but music uh record label and then you have carol on tuesday who actually end up deciding to go independent because their manager gus basically reads over their contract and sees that it's you know pretty bad and decides they're just going to do everything themselves which is actually not a bad thing to do and i actually love this aspect of them having these two music artists have two very different careers in the music industry because it's very reflective of what actually goes on today in a, in the music community you have artists that are with big music labels and you have artists that are doing everything independently and of course you have where a lot of music artists who like before or earlier you know who have said they've had issues with their contract with music being released or never being released or just being locked into contracts where they made barely any money so i really did enjoy this aspect and it threw in the aspect of social media which is why a lot of music artists do a lot of these things themselves so overall i did enjoy that aspect of the series they also in the series had a lot of political aspects that kind of reflect the political atmosphere that actually goes on today in the u.s so of course Tuesday's mom is a political figure she's running for president and she has this huge crazy policy about refugees from earth coming to Mars and wanting basically to get them out saying that they are here illegally which is something that also goes on in the United States but I'm not going to go into that but that's a huge political thing that's going on and still so you have a lot of music artists that are from earth that are refugees who have made it in the music business being arrested and then they have their own like what they call mice police that are going after these uh, refugees and putting them in like immigration detention centers which i liked kind of this aspect with them putting in like the political atmosphere but in some ways i didn't because i feel like it really took away from the music of the entire series but i feel like it kind of tried to wrap it up in the end but i felt like it kind of took away from it and i kind of didn't like following the path of you know tuesday's mom because even though i felt like she was kind of an important character i kind of felt like she had a bigger storyline in part one or season one and really did need to be there in season two because she didn't really ever talk to tuesday in season two the only person that actually talked to tuesday in her family was her brother but i don't think you know i didn't think she really needed to be there also another thing they had within this series is of course they had a few you know character deaths as well you saw uh angela go through a little bit of grief as well and had her deal with you know finding out certain aspects of her character like the fact that dahlia her mother is actually not her actual mother and that she was actually created so you have things going with like genetic testing and i just feel like overall that was also a weird aspect i feel like though that kind of once again put a little bit more humanness into angela's character because you really felt for her in those moments especially when she was down and sad but once again it was kind of came out of left field and kind of threw me like this weird korean drama aspect where they're throwing out a lot of different twists and turns but you know it wasn't like unheard of i guess but i digress going into the latter half of the series you see and uh, angela sorry carolyn tuesday making another song which is talking about like mother earth and you know mother come save us and basically it's a huge ensemble you know 
cast a, a Mars music artist coming together to sing this one song which very much reminded me of like Michael Jackson when they did the We Are The World song and you know I didn't hate it that song actually almost made me cry and I didn't you know I'm not gonna say I hated it but overall what I thought about the series is that I think it's, this is a very ambitious series I also think this was a lot to put into a music series as a whole I feel like it's I don't want to say it's one of the more realistic music shows that I've ever actually watched. I feel like that kind of has to uh, to go to um, Mongolian Chop Squad, Beck Mongolian Chop Squad, which I watched years ago. But I do feel like this was a more like realistic today kind of music, you know, series with it being reflective on independent artists and also with artists with big labels, the political atmosphere that's going on nowadays and ensemble music songs that are basically used as a way to combat what's going on politically within the world or a certain country and i feel like that is where it kind of excelled but i do have to say that a lot of things kind of came out of left field and it was just too much to put together in one music show and i feel like you kind of lost the aspects of some of the storylines and some of the storylines i feel like as a viewer you just didn't care about as much like i didn't really care about you know tuesday's mom's uh, you know political you know race that wasn't something I truly was really interested in and I feel like with Angela she had parts of a storyline that were actually pretty exciting like the whole stalker issue since that is very prevalent with a lot of music artists but I also feel like that was kind of wrapped up really quickly in like a matter of a couple episodes but the real like people that she kind of enjoyed following was of course Carolyn Tuesday which is the title characters of the entire series so that I did enjoy you know but it was just I feel like some of the storylines kind of fell by the wayside and you as a viewer just didn't care about them as much now do I recommend watching Carol on Tuesday yes I really do recommend watching it I feel like it's a great show I feel like the music in it is very much amazing and I feel like it's definitely a show that's going to tug at your heartstrings but I feel like the writers and the creators of the show put way too much into one series to make you care about way too much and it, it just ended up having a lot of stuff just kind of basically fall by the wayside but as you'll see in my vlog I kind of talk about a little bit of these things but overall you know I kind of enjoyed it so if you haven't watched it definitely check it out on Netflix and the next thing you're gonna see now is uh, me vlogging about this series and I plan to do this more for a lot more other series that I watch in the future so this is my first series that I've actually done a vlog for that wasn't my hero academia but yeah check that out now good morning you guys so it is currently friday december 27th and i started watching season two of carol and tuesday obviously as by, by the title of this is going to be my review slash vlog but anyway i just started watching i just finished watching the first episode and now i'm currently on the second episode and i have to say i'm really so far <coughs> enjoying it one of the great things that i think so far i'm really liking about it is that currently you have like carol and tuesday they won the competition and they're like you know trying to figure out still how to make it or how to get to get a record deal and then of course you have angela who already has pretty much a record deal at this point because she also won and her own journey and her own path as well and one of the things that i like so far that they've taken a step or a way with talking about the music business is that they're doing it from two different point of views, I guess. So you have Angela's point of view, which is that <clears throat> she has gone with a major rep record company to release her album. And then you have Carol and Tuesday that have basically gone independent and they're deciding to do everything on their own. And I think that's very like, not reminiscent, but very much like what's going on in today's day and age when it comes to music. You have people who are basically going for the big record businesses or the big record deals. And then also you have people or artists that have pretty much, you know, decided to do everything independently now that there's social media like Instagram and Facebook and SoundCloud and there's ways to do and YouTube, obviously, to be able to release music, which for a lot of artists have found that to be very, very helpful. I think one artist I know of I believe that went independent and has done fairly well is I think I want to say it's Kendrick Lamar I might be incorrect though but if I'm wrong feel free to comment down below but I do know there is an artist that did very very well and released their album independently but that was so far what I'm liking so far about 
this series. Um, of course, I do like the music as well. And I think another thing that I'm also kind of curious about is this guy that Carolyn Tuesday met at the laundromat. And I'm curious on if he's anything to Carol, because of course, Carol is adopt not really adopted, but she was orphaned at a really young age, not really orphaned. She was given up at a very young age. So pretty much I'm curious on if he's like someone that could possibly be her dad, like who knows, but I'm very curious to find out. But so far, I'm really liking this. I was super excited to see it come back. So I was right. That was her dad that she met. But <clears throat> I don't know why, but I feel like that was such a short arc between her like meeting him and then finding out that's her dad. That's like literally two episodes. Not saying they should have dragged it out longer, but like in the end, her dad left because he had, you know, some stuff to take care of. But I kind of wish he would have stayed around. Like maybe he'll come back sometime within the rest of the episodes or the rest of the series as it continues or this season but i mean like that was super short that was just and it was such a more like sad or not really heartbreaking but more emotional part of the series and i'm like you dedicated like three or four episodes to tuesday's family but carol's family to to me had a better story you could do two episodes too at least like two you know round it up or whatever you know wrap it all up but yeah figured that was her dad so it's now what is the date december 30th monday december 30th and i'm now on episode four of season two and i feel like the show's kind of all over the place just a little bit i was kind of used to it with season one and i kind of understood it a little bit because they were like building up these different characters like they were building up Angela and everything else and this one I feel like it's a little bit just kind of all over the place but I do have to say I am liking the characters that they're bringing in here to teach or learn teach learn one of them to teach um Carolyn Tuesday um and have them learn a lot about music and i'm actually liking so far this little arc with flora and how like she's having some issues with music i'm only halfway through that episode so i don't know how it's going to end yet but i do have to say that's what i'm liking i'm not liking how it seems like it's kind of like all over the place but i still kind of understand why because you need to follow the journeys of both the girls both carol and tuesday and also angela but i'm not liking them inserting the moments of of Tuesday's mom and like her political um, stances and her like political race and everything else like that. I don't know. To me, it's just it just seems like a lot. And to me, there was there could have been a way to insert it without it being like a little bit more like as prevalent as it seems to be. Okay, so I think I actually figured out what it is that's causing me the issue with so far this season, and that's because some of the like other parts of the characters that they part that they cut to like the other characters like arcs or their storylines they cut to i'm just not that interested in i'm kind of interested in angela's because of the whole aspect of like i want to see what happens to her with her being like at a major music label but tuesday's mom i'm not exactly interested in her storyline i don't get it i would have rather there not be a storyline for them because of what happened in the first season and of course i'm very interested in carol and tuesdays and they're probably the most interested like not arc but most interesting storyline i want to see and that's probably because they're the title characters but another thing i realized is that i do like them showing the different artists within the music business and what has happened to them because it's very realistic to what happens in today's like music industry so just like with having independent artists and having artists that are with major music labels but also with them them showing the the guy that was that was in the wheelchair and his storyline of him and music and now also with flora and what happens to her with her being in a big like music label being with a big music label and what happened to her so that i definitely am enjoying and also shout out to them putting in like real like music like I want to say a festival because South by Southwest is actually pretty it's a real thing and so I I think that's pretty cool all right so I just got on episode 21 of season two and I have to say this season is so reminiscent of what's going on in America overall like how they have mice and we have ice 
and then them like the political atmosphere of them talking about um immigrants and how they they shouldn't be here it, they shouldn't be here illegally and then with the song that came out by her friend ezekiel like this is so like mirror almost like mirror image of like today's society in america i don't know how it is in other parts of the world but in america this is very much like hitting the nose on the head so i have to say the producers of this uh particular show are very this is a very interesting take not only on the music industry but just the political atmosphere overall and i'm really liking it and i have to say it was very ambitious of them to come out with something like this and at first i wasn't for sure like how it was going to go with the different storylines with like tuesday's mother her politics you know carol and tuesday's whole career being independent artists angela being signed to a big record company but now slowly but surely i'm watching all these things collide and it's all wrapped up with like a award show so let's see what continues to happen but so far or I have to say now, because before I was very confused, but now, currently, I'm really liking where this is headed. I swear, this show has more twists and turns than a Korean drama. Because, like, now Angela doesn't know where she's from, so she, so she might also be adopted, I guess. But she looked up her birth certificate and there's nothing listed, so she doesn't know where she came from. And her own, like adoptive mother said this to her and so that was a shock to her so that's another twist and i feel like you know carol now has kind of love interest with ezekiel but i don't know i don't think that's going to come of it because there's like three episodes left and there's no way they're going to try and squeeze that in three episodes and if they do that's terrible because that would have literally came out of left field so i just got through episode 22 and that's so sad. This episode actually almost really made me cry. And while I did enjoy, did not really like, you know, Angela's mom, I did actually, you know, feel for Angela that she lost someone that was a parent figure for her. But I mean, overall, I really like this episode, but man, this episode really put me in the feels. I can honestly say that. Um, I only have two episodes left. And so I'm interested to see what happens next and although I did I will say I find it kind of stupid that they said that Tuesday's mom was Tuesday's mom was Valerie to me that didn't make sense but whatever so Carol and Tuesday trying to get everyone together like all the music artists on Mars to record a song reminds me of when Michael Jackson had a lot of artists come together and record the song we are the world because um, that song was like legendary like so many people know of it and i've heard of it so i really do like this idea they're doing and i like how at least for me i can make the connection with where i feel like the idea may have came from so yeah i'm interested to see how this turns out so i just <clears throat> oh my voice so i just finished carol on tuesday the last episode which is appropriately titled mother and it's where they sing the ensemble song that they basically came out of, came up with. And I can't, you know, believe it, but I almost really started to cry. And I have to say, like, the last two to, like, two episodes really almost made me cry. And you'll probably hear my thoughts about overall what I thought of the, you know, entire second season at the beginning of this video. But I have to say, just going based off of um, the last episode, this was an ambitious series to kind of do overall, like a music series. And this was a very interesting take on it, since you had artists, independent artists that were a part of big named industries. You had political uh, and a, a huge political atmosphere going on that greatly reflect, reflects what's going on in the U.S. And then, of course, you also have, like, drama going on with the artists themselves, with, like, Angela and and character deaths and stuff like that. So it was a very ambitious series, but I just feel like the last episode tried to tie everything in a neat little bow, but that's not, you know, how reality is. But I felt like they tried to do that, but in some aspects, you know, it kind of worked, it kind of didn't, but, you know, 
good job coming up with this kind of a series. But yeah, overall, kind of enjoyed it. Um, it had its problematic aspects, obviously, because no show is perfect. But I did enjoy the music in this series overall. Well, there you go, you guys. That is my vlog of me watching Carol and Tuesday season two, also of my review of it. Of course, like always, I will leave links down below to all my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog as well. So please check me out on there. I'm trying to blog every single day, even if it's not about anime, but just about books I've read and TV shows that I've watched and want to do a review on and so on and so forth. So please check me out on there. And of course, like always, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And feel free to comment down below your, your thoughts on Carol and Tuesday if you watched it. So let me know what you guys thought of this. I plan to do more in the future. And like I always tell you guys, stay positive and be nerdy. All right, you guys.